Hello, I'm Douglas from CompuMatter, and today I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to fix a very common Wi-Fi problem. If your Wi-Fi driver has stopped working, you will stop seeing any signals or being able to connect if you are able to see the signals, and I'm going to show you how to reset that. All right, here we go. All right. So for starters, uh, go ahead and go down to your start menu. Um, down at the bottom, it's uh, square. Sometimes it'll be on the left side. If you're in Windows 10, go ahead and right click and that'll bring up some options. You're gonna wanna click on device manager. Now this shows you a list of all your different hardware plugged into the machine and the drivers associated with it. If a driver is not installed correctly, it will show up with one of these little exclamation marks. Uh, this is a fresh install, so I just haven't finished installing the drivers, but if your driver is flagged, it is most likely either not installed or damaged. And for Wi-Fi issues, we're gonna wanna go to network adapters. And then what I'll typically do is, the hardware will vary, but it'll usually have this 802.11. Uh, you can go ahead and right click on that and choose uninstall device. Now, if there's a checkbox that says remove the driver, you're gonna wanna check that as well. Otherwise, I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall all of the WAN drivers. And to explain what this is gonna do, essentially I'm gonna remove all the drivers, uninstall these ones, the WAN and that one that was on the top. I usually leave the family controller and the Bluetooth device. And when you restart the machine after removing this drivers, if they were flagged, Windows will see that there was a problem loading the driver and it will revert to the last driver it had back when your Wi-Fi was working how it's supposed to. So once I remove all of these, I'll just go ahead and click on the start menu with a left click, normal click, and then shut down the machine. Um, once it restarts, it will reload all of those drivers and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like here in a moment. All right, and then after you've turned off the machine, you will notice, uh, or and turned it back on, is you'll notice that the Wi-Fi doesn't automatically connect. That's because we uninstalled the driver. So you're gonna to wanna to go into your Wi-Fi, find your home Wi-Fi signal, and retype in the password. Then once connected, you should be able to right-click on the Start menu, go back into Device Manager, and see that all the drivers have been reloaded. And that is what resets them back to the previous driver that was working correctly. Now there's lots of different Wi-Fi issues that you can have, but this one I find is a very common one that repairs most of the issues I see with signals not showing up or not being able to connect to the signal. So hope that helped you out and thanks for taking the time with me. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And thanks again for taking the time with us. Hope that resolved your Wi-Fi issue. And if not, you're located in Anacortes, Washington. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 11 to five and Saturday, 11 to four. And our number is 360-299-2428 if you have any further questions. Take care.